Greetings all, I'm Gregor coming to you from the bunker. Hey, today, don't want to be fear margaring, uh, but there has been something kind of tickling the back of my brain I wanted to talk about, and it's uh, it's about the possibility of food inflation. Now, when, uh, when there's actual shortages and people don't have enough to eat, uh, that is almost a 100% correlated with social unrest. Um, when, when there's actual shortages and, and people can't feed their families, uh, you are, it is almost certain that uh, social unrest uh, will follow. Uh, but one of the things, I, I keep hearing this little snippets on the news and, and some of the research I've been doing, and it, and it just seems like a lot of things are pointing to the possibility of food inflation, not actual shortages, but maybe inflation here, uh, maybe uh, later this year, and uh, perhaps even by uh, next season. And the reason I'm saying this is um, China's obviously lost a lot of their hog production to African swine uh, virus or swine uh, fever. Uh, I do know that there's been problems with uh, the corn and beans, uh, both uh, the planting and, and growing period and harvesting here in the United States. Uh, there's been some problems uh, with apple production in certain parts of the country additionally. Uh, potatoes. I just heard the, the potato harvest is going extremely poorly. Uh, as a matter of fact, Minnesota has uh, declared a, a emergency uh, where they've lifted up some restrictions to help those farmers actually get their potatoes out of um, out of the fields uh, in any way they can. Additionally, I know North Dakota's had some issues as well as Idaho. Uh, so uh, what I've decided to do, this is actually a growth area for me. Uh, I'm going to try a new skill for me, and uh, I wanted to put up some uh, some fruit as far as dehydrating. Also, I'm going to learn how to dehydrate potatoes. Uh, right now, prices, uh, at least in my immediate area, uh, for these commodities are not bad. Both canned uh, fruits and vegetables as well as fresh. Uh, seems like there's plenty of supply and the prices do not appear uh, to show much inflation. However, uh, some of the experts, as an example, say that uh, potatoes are likely to go up uh, once uh, the, the fresh crop is in. And uh, as we go through the winter into early spring and, and summer next year before the next crop comes in, uh, certainly could be some inflation. I think one of the, uh, the analysts said it's going to be an interesting market. So as you can see here, what I've done, I've already put up some, uh, some apples. Uh, those actually turned out really well for uh, for me, like I said, this is a new skill for me, and I've got to, I've got a couple of trays of bananas here ready to go. So, uh, if in fact I'm wrong about this, uh, the worst thing that can happen is we have some additional uh, snack foods, and uh, if there is some food inflation, I've actually put up a little bit of food at a fairly uh, reasonable price, and uh, you know could save some money going out into the future. So, thought I'd give this a shot. Uh, viewers, subscribers, tell me what I'm doing well here, what I can improve upon. As always, this is I Am Rugger coming to you from the bunker. Let's be careful out there.